So I'm a bio art and fiber artist. And in my practice, I'm working with growing biofilm and also using natural dyes in combination with different kind of materials. So this thing that I have here in my hand is called a biofilm and it's produced by bacteria and um, uh, it contains mostly water channels but also protein and cellulose and why the bacteria produce this biofilm is because they want to protect themselves from environmental hazards and they also do it so they more easily can exchange information and also nutrients among each other. And they also do this so they more easily can swap genes with each other. And they can also swap genes with free uh, passing uh, bacteria. And this makes them more resistant or be able to be more re resistant against antibiotics, for example. So it's a really complex community they build in this uh, biofilm. So this process happens everywhere around us and in us, uh, but it's in a, such a small scale so we can't see it. And that's why I want to uh, grow this in a large scale format in my, in my studio. And also so it's easier to understand what's, what's happening with the biofilm. Uh, and I also use my own body as the nutrient. So um, I get into the vat and use my body as the nutrient. And also this is a really uh, important step in my process, so I get to know this kind of process in another way. And um, I'm using different kind of natural dyes, and you can see here that different kind of bacterial colonies take up different amount of pigments, so that's why this kind of patterns uh, gets visual like on the, uh, on the material. And also different biofilms have different kind of pH level, so that's also why the color is changing. So it's always constantly living and it's gonna change over time. So when this material is dry, it's not dead. It's just in a dormant state. So if you put the material in the right condition again uh, and you give it some kind of nutrients, it will start to grow again. So it will become like a mother of a new culture. So it's still alive even if it's dry. Um, so, and it's also changing. Um, always like over time it depends on the temperature like on the pH level what kind of people that is in the room and if you touch it you will bring your own microorganism on that kind of on, on this material so it's yeah it's it's always in constantly a changing state and biofilm it's not a new material it's been using since like thousands of years ago so it actually they've been founding like shoes that have been made out of biofilm from China that is like 2,000 years old. So back in the days, they really used this material and built like clothes and shoes and so on with it. So 